Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, we're going to be talking about iOS 13.4 beta 4 which was just released today so apple actually went ahead and released the dev beta at about 1 p.m eastern standard time and the public beta at about 4 p.m eastern standard time so these are pretty typical uh, release times especially when apple's pretty sure that these updates are pretty good so so this update came in at about 150 megabytes on my iphone 11 pro here so i'll hop into general software update you guys can see I am all up to date here. The build number was 17E249A, which means that this is nearly finished, which is quite odd because we thought that this was going to be released at the end of March. But if this is really an A build, that usually signifies maybe one or two more betas and then final release, maybe even less than that. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But for right now, this really seems like it will be released very soon. Now, for some reason with this beta in particular, people have been having issues installing it. Uh, when they go to install it and it goes to the verifying update, it'll error out and basically won't install. Now, just so you guys can see here, it was 151 megabytes for me. And I noticed something cool when I was uh, trying to install this, I held down on the download and install button on accident. And I actually saw this. It says, when would you like to install this update? Download only or download and install tonight? I don't know if this is new or not, but this is pretty cool. Never seen anyone else talk about it. So uh, if you wanted a little Easter egg, there you go. You can choose that if you tap and hold on download and install. So that's cool, but what is actually in this update? And I'm gonna tell you guys, there's not a lot of feature stuff, but there's a lot of bug fixes. Now in the past couple betas that we've had, there's been a huge issue, and that is with the messages app, whenever I open it up, uh, it will just freeze for like 45 plus seconds. Super annoying, cannot even use it. So far, I have not had that issue. I did just install this a couple hours ago, so it could definitely show up you know, later in the week, but so far I haven't had that issue, so it's worth a shot to update to this. Now there is no modem update, so if you had any LTE issues, it's probably not gonna be resolved in this. Uh, unless it was something else, you know, software based, not modem based. There are still two known notes issues, but not really anyone has had issues with those. I personally haven't had any issues with notes and I use that daily. Now there was a fix for the iPad keyboard uh, with regards to different languages that has been resolved. And something that I'm super pumped about, if you go into settings and you hit on about, it no longer lags like hell when you try to open that up. So that is a huge plus. Now in the Apple TV app, the audio bug has been fixed. So everything should be working just as intended in the Apple TV application. Now there were a couple very minor things changed like Apple Card's privacy policy has been updated and the Apple TV app language text has been updated. No one really notices stuff like that. Uh, and then rotation on the Pro and Plus phones has actually been fixed. So if you have one of those phones, you can rotate your home screen. That has been completely fixed for anyone having issues with that. So that is pretty much all that's in this update, guys. I just had to get you guys this video so you guys would know what's new in this. If you haven't already, go ahead and download it. Uh, this is a super stable release so far for me. I haven't had any new bugs with this release yet. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if you guys want to see a brand new what's on my iPhone, let me know with a comment down below and a thumbs up as well. That's all I got. Thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.